evil incarnate with one soft spot. And the soft spot. Bonus if the soft one is actually low-key into the whole evil thing. Ex-villain, now is the grumpy uncle of the group, and the literal ray of sunshine. I'm a simple little homo. If I see a ship dynamic of two girls in traditionally opposing categories, buff and small, goth and sunny, chic and casual, I go absolutely feral. The world-weary but kind knight in sour armor, and the optimistic go-getter with hidden depths. The idealist leader who wants to bring out the best in everyone, and the realist second-in-command willing to sully their hands to achieve the idealist's dream. Machiavellian jerks who each know the other is using them for their respective agenda, but end up catching horrible feelings anyway. Battle-worn old farts who have been to hell and back and need to take a really long nap. Probably dead in canon. Please, God, let them rest. New ship dynamic. Flips knives boyfriend, and watches them flip knives incredulously boyfriend. The big and chill one versus the tiny and angry one. The boisterous himbo who cherishes his friendship with the villain. The self-sacrificing comic relief being revived by the reluctant hero. Never doubted you for a minute. Everything's bad, but at least I found you. My favorite ship dynamics are definitely two people who seem really tough and cool to those outside of their relationship, but together they are giant nerds who giggle over dumb jokes and are just happily themselves. Two bros chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because they won't confess their undying love for one another. Both have too much pride to confess or they're afraid to ruin their relationship. This ship will test your patience and your sanity. The loner and the popular one. Loner doesn't get the hype, but warms up to person B over time. And B is one of the few people who actually notices person A. The pessimist and the optimist. <sighs> the globe is warming, the economy is in shambles, and worst of all, bees man, the bees be dying. Everything's gonna be fine, bud. Most likely. Okay, but right-hand man of the main villain falls deeply in love with one of the heroes and ends up helping them when they need to, even if it goes against their boss, is such a niche type of shipping dynamic slash trope, but god dang if it isn't a good one. The one who loves fashion, and the one who doesn't care at all about how they look. The rat lovers. Look honey, a rat! So cute! My favorite ship dynamic. Season's greetings. The super popular celebrity and the cafe barista that doesn't know or care who they are. You really don't know who I am? Yeah, you're that jerk that comes in two minutes to close. Nerds bonding on being nerds. A and B, 110% in sync. They complete each other, they go on missions together as partners in crime, they dress up and probably share their wardrobe. They were destined to be together? Nah. Destiny kept pulling them apart, but they got together anyway. I love the relationship dynamic memes, but the only ones I've seen so far are romantic, so I'm writing down all my favorite platonic relationship dynamics. Okay, you're my parent figure now. Enemies to allies to... Excuse me, they asked for no pickles. Childhood best friends whose dynamic hasn't changed since ninth grade. Do I have a crush on you, or am I just touch-starved and desperate for someone to talk to? They share a wardrobe. Somehow achieved a sibling dynamic within, like, a year of knowing each other. Wait, if I'm your gay best friend, and you're my gay best friend, who's flying the plane? I had a crush on you for like two seconds, but then you opened your mouth, and now I just feel compelled to study you in a controlled environment. Himbo, bimbo, thembo, solidarity. Two guys and their adopted child. Bonus, one of them is chaotic and violent, while the other is sensible and worried. Both care very much for the child. Did you give our child a gun? Yes! What do we do to bullies? Stab them senseless! Enthusiastic sunshine and the fed up but caring teammate. Stop trying to befriend monsters! But he's so adorable! 
Do you think I ship things because I want them to be canon? Fool. Absolute fool. I ship them for the chaos. My favorite dynamics are the ones that could end the world just because they are having a bad day. Or because they hated each other, but now they're ready to kill God if necessary. They don't believe in death anymore. You can see it in their eyes. Their only beliefs are each other. The one who eats, the one who watches them, and the one who paid. Hot vampire couple who live in a mansion in the woods. And the confused yet intrigued traveler who needs a place to stay the night. I'm better than you. No, I'm better. The fact that I almost died and you saved me doesn't make you cooler than me. I- oh, come on. After many things experienced together. Wow, we are a really good team. Thank you for putting up with all my teases. Now I respect and appreciate you and I will protect you no matter what, buddy. Baby, I can be your morally ambiguous person you have an undefined relationship and long and complicated history with, who commits crimes and even kills for you so that you don't have to sacrifice your values and your reputation as an upstanding moral citizen by getting your own hands dirty, as an act of devotion. The mad and the scientist doesn't need to be literally. Smart, calm and collected, mature and rather stiff, and smart as well and also chaotic to the 10th power. Creativity. Improvises 200% of the time. Childish. This chemical is an extremely sublime mixture that will soon revolution- Okay, but can it, like, go boom? What? No, of course not. And what if we added acid to it? The bastards. Just two utter jerks who love evil in each other exclusively. Just look at this beautiful chaos. Not as beautiful as you love. Aww. The evil genius and the supportive. Soon they will gravely regret calling me a lunatic. <laughs> That's wonderful, honey. The Sundari mom friend and someone who's so very in love. It's not like they want to help this idiot, but B would most likely die if it wasn't for them, okay? Careless, to say the least, thinks that A is the cutest little thing. Taller, probably. You're hopeless to think that you forgot to bring your scarf. Ah, uh, but I knew you'd have a spare to lend me. Prince Charming and the Witch. Looks, 4 out of 10. Intelligence, 10 out of 10. Heart, 9 out of 10. B is a real jerk, so they'll pass. A bit scary, but a true sweetheart. Looks, 11 out of 10. Intelligence, 4 out of 10. Heart, 4 out of 10. Their feelings for A are sincere, but they'll need to try harder than that. A pretty flower for a pretty- sorry, but I don't like narcissistic guys. The gentleman lady and the princess boy. Super cool and tough. Elegant and classy. And feminine. Blushes easily. Pure. You are the only person who has ever looked at the ruins of my soul and hasn't flinched is gold tier ship dynamic, but I have seen you in your whole messed up glory, and I have seen that you are just like me is so good too. The one who spouts complicated nerd stuff, and the one who doesn't understand a single thing but is so impressed and fascinated that they don't want them to ever stop talking. A bad guy who's really protective of his minion. I went undercover to get this top secret information to help you out. What? That is not okay. You put yourself in way too much danger. I'm going to have to lock you up in this lair so you can't go get hurt. Crazy dad and his crazy child causing antics together. Hey dad, can I ride a skateboard off the roof? Of course, honey. I'll build a ramp for you. The one who sees their relationship as an intense rivalry and the one who just thinks it's a nice friendship. The furious short one and the tall one who calms them down. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this was a good follow up to the first video I made like this. Uh, quite a few people were asking for a second part so I really hope this satisfied your wants. If there are other types of Tumblr posts you'd like to see in a video or anything else you want me to compile and read for you, just leave a comment. I check them every once in a while and I really appreciate all your kind words and all your creativity that you share down there. Thank you again so much for watching and have a wonderful day.